Hi guys, it's me Angie and I'm moving to Disney World. I'm going to be attending a Disney College program in Disney World from January 9th until June 29th. My program actually is starting within the next week and I haven't talked about this to the public yet. I only told my close friends and family. I just wanted to film a little introductory video because I'm going to have a lot of contents from this program so I wanted to at least, you know, kind of warm you guys up. In this video, I'm going to be briefly talking about what the Disney College program is, the role that I was assigned to, my floor plan, which is my lease, and also why I applied. I'm looking to the sides because I have my iPad with all the points that I want to be touching on today. So the Disney College program is an internship where you work at the Disney parks and resorts as a cast member. You get to work with people all around the world. The requirements are you have to be enrolled or have graduated in a higher education within the 24 months of of applying and you have to have at least completed one semester by arrival. The length of the program is about four to seven months. You can choose your arrival and departure dates. There are various sets of dates that you can choose from so you can choose what works best for you. They're called college programs so when people hear about it they always ask what is the college aspects of it. You can get credit but it all depends on your school so you have to talk to your advisor to see how you can transfer this into your college as a credit. You can still take your classes like online classes from the school that you are attending. The classes that they offer is like sessions where you can learn about introductory topic, networking, resume, or interview. There are also tours and backstage experience that you can do, which I'm really excited about. Either way, having Disney on your resume will just look good. If you're in school, like I said, you can still take online classes, but it might be tough because you're going to be basically working full time. So you're not going to have a lot of time to focus on your classes as much. But there are people who still take online classes, so you just have to be extra disciplined. I myself am doing this after I'm already out of school, so I'm not stressed about my schedule or anything. I've been working full time. I'm not really going there for credit. I just want the experience so I have more pros and cons for attending. If you're planning to apply, I highly, highly suggest to check out videos and posts of people talking about their experience on the program so that you know for sure what you're going into and see if it aligns with what you want. I have watched a lot of videos and posts where they talk about both the good and bad and I still choose to go. So it just depends on each person. There are also perks that you get as a cast member. So like you get to go to the park whenever you want, like aside from block days. There are also cast member only events that I really look forward to going like Iridescent, which is where they have a party for the cast members after park hours with no guests. So you have like all these rides and everything that you can go on that is still open to you and not a long line and you just get to see Disney after hours which is so cool but that is one of the events that you get to go to there are also backstage tours that I talked about earlier because I'm in the college program I opt in for the housing that Disney provide which is the Flamingo Crossing Village you can opt in or out but there are Flamingo Crossing events that only the residents can attend it works out like a school semester there's a spring program and also a fall program. I applied for the Spring Advantage program. I have heard about this program prior to ever searching about it but I never looked into it until my friend mentioned to me and said that you should look into it and it seems like it's something that would fit you. So I was like okay and then one day I decided to go and researched it and I thought wow this is really cool and I really want to do this. So I just signed up for an email on the website so that I can know when the application opened but I think it was already open because it was September. And for the spring program, I believe it is open from August until October. When I got the email, I applied right away on a whim, honestly. I think this is like 2 a.m. And I just thought, okay, I am just going to put my resume in. I already had written resume. This is just like an easy transfer. I got the web-based interview five minutes after. Web-based interview is basically a personality quiz kind of. They see if you're a match for the program and you'll know right away if you have passed to the next stage or not. There's no more phone interviews. So it's just a web base only. And now you just join the painful waiting game from here on out. I joined Facebook groups and group chats for this program and that's where I get a lot of infos and updates from people who are attending, thinking of attending or have already applied. So when the first acceptance wave came out, I was waiting with a bunch of others to hear back and we're all nervous thinking like, are we gonna get an acceptance letter? And I was kind of nervous because I wanted to hear it right away. But I can plan about this and not have to have it at the back of my head all the time. Like, oh my God, am I gonna get in. That acceptance wave lasts from 
1 to 4 so I was waiting for 2 hours just saying congratulations to everybody that said that they got in and I honestly think I kind of like gave up on getting it that day because at least not hearing anything is better than getting a rejection because I'll still have a chance on the next wave but I got an email saying congratulations I have been accepted to the college program now roles the college program has a lot of roles that you can be put into you can't really choose a role that you want they just kind of randomize it and give it to you the roles that you can get is operations entertainment lodging food and bev retail sales and recreation I'll put down the roles that you can get for each of these the roles that I want to get specifically was food and bev attractions or merchandise I received my dictative role on December 9th which is a month before my arrival and confirmed role in my itinerary a little less than two weeks before I arrived the role that I got was Food and Bev <laughs> and my home location will be Kona Cafe at the Polynesian Resort I'm comfortable with Food and Bev because I've been in the food service industry for six years now I would have liked it to work in one of the parks but if it had to be the resort I would have liked it that it was Polynesian anyways because I've heard and seen a lot of it from videos that I watch like the Disney College Program vlogs and I'm gonna be in a place with air conditioner so who am I to complain? and I heard the food there was good too but I believe you are able to pick up shifts at different locations within your role if you're trained for that position where you can also pick up shifts with no training required but yeah, I would like to pick up shifts outside of my location so I'll be looking for that once I get there because I just want to experience working at Disney at different locations okay lease I got my lease on December 28th which is also less than two weeks before arrival they make you wait a long time until you get to hear back so honestly I was just kind of anxious not really but I really just want to know because <laughs> I wouldn't know what my floor plan is and I would like to kind of prepare myself before going you know or at least like mentally prepare myself and this is only if you opt in for the flamenco crossing housing there are three room options with different pricing there's two by two four by two and four by four there's four roommates in total for all of these floor plans two by two is where you share a room and also share a bathroom your room is split into half and there's like a divider between your bed you get a shared bathroom with your own sink four by two is four bedroom and two bathrooms you get your own bedroom and shared bathroom Bathroom, just like the two by two with your own sink and then a four by four is where you get your own bedroom and bathroom I wanted a four by two so that I can have my own space but I would have been okay with two by two it is the cheapest I didn't really care about having my own bathroom I also wouldn't mind because I never dorm before I feel like I could make it fun anyways but I got my lease and I did get the room that I want which is 4 by 2 so I'm really really excited my itinerary I got my itinerary the next day after getting my lease this includes the schedule for your welcome week with check-in and orientation so traditions which is where you become an official cast member get your name tag and blue ID you can also get to use your discounts why i applied and what i look forward to gaining from this experience number one is just that i am a disney lover just like a lot of you guys i've grown up with disney although i can't call myself like a super fan because there's a lot of people who are incredibly knowledgeable about disney i still have a lot of passion and love for disney i also love the experience of being a guest at disney world i've been there a couple of times recently and you can't deny that they really do value giving guests a magical experience and i definitely know that the guest experience and cast member experience will be a totally different experience but i'm really interested in knowing the behind the scenes of it all i'm also looking forward to getting to meet new people making more friends and connections although i'm an introvert and i I do get anxious at socializing but i think this would be a great way to put myself out there and be more comfortable with conversing with just a bunch of people this is also a once in a lifetime experience i think i really regret not taking a chance on doing this program when i can like when else can you get to work for disney for fun <laughs> and the timing really aligns with me this is a time when i'm not bound by any commitments to jobs to anything i'm really lucky and it's truly a privilege to be able to just decide to go when i want to go and i've already been working food service jobs just like full time minimum wage why not just go over there and do that instead like i'm just gonna go over there and work for disney okay like 
and I think it just came at like this exact moment when I am really open to new experience and I just think like when is the better time than now to do whatever I want whenever I want so now when I see something that I want to do I just go for it and the last and probably the most exciting for me is getting to experience solo living I've never lived alone before I've moved out but I feel like I'm always in the care of someone else I'm always very reliant on the other person and I feel like I was just comfortable not really going out of my comfort zone kind of like oh like well they're still taking care of me so why would I have to do it myself and I was really sheltered growing up so I think that makes me feel like I shouldn't get outside of my comfort zone it's really scary out there just do things that feel safe and just stay in this safe limited space and so I never take risks, I never did anything to push myself out there but as time goes on, it just becomes very very apparent to me that I do not like myself this way I want to take charge in my life yeah, I never did solo living before I've never had my own room, I've always shared a room, which I still like but I never thought that I actually needed space on my own I didn't drive either so I couldn't really comfortably get out of the space if I needed to I really want to use this experience as a way to figure out myself and know that I fully can be reliant on myself I have trust that I am self-sufficient person I think I just felt that I didn't really need to be because I've already feel like people see me as this person who needs to be taken care of so then i was just like okay then just i'm just gonna be like this then i guess but yeah i just want to prove to myself that i can be a self-sufficient person i don't want to rely externally and through this program i want to figure out how to balance my social and work life including solo time like self-care where i spend time on my own either working on my passion working on new hobbies taking a walk in the morning or at night or whatever like just taking a walk enjoying the scenery on my own going to the gym cooking for myself things like that i think if i have heard about this program even like beginning of 2022 i probably wouldn't have taken the chance and wouldn't have dived into it i would probably have pushed it off um, saying that i'll do it later when it's better timing when this and this and this and just like so many criteria that I put onto myself limiting what I can do I was just been too scared to get out of my comfort zone but very recently the last half of 2022 is when something just clicked in me something just swished I felt like I had a complete mindset shift I just decided to take control of my life and really work on who I want to be so I'm just really open to new experiences and then this came in right then and there I was just like yeah it feels like something that I want to do and it feels like something that would be good for me so I decided that I'm gonna do it I feel like this is just an addition to my self-growth self-discovery journey and it's just intertwined now I'm here and I feel like everything have been working so smoothly it feels like it's meant for me I'm just really excited to have this be a good chunk of my 2023 I'm going to be trying to vlog a lot with Disney contents and also just me um, just talking probably talking a lot on here i want to use this as a kind of digital diary and just talk to you guys with my thought process and everything and show you guys my experience as well here i think it'd be really fun to take you guys along we can go through this together this program is truly what you make of it and i am going to make it so good i'm going to use all the amenities use all the perks i'm gonna go to the parks um on my day offs or prior to going to work whatever i'm gonna go and use their recreation center go edit and like you know those shared areas i feel like it's gonna be so fun go to the pool oh yeah they have a pool at flamingo i'm just gonna make this a really good experience for myself and no matter what i'm gonna learn something from it so i'm just excited and yeah that's it from this video i am moving in two days and i still haven't packed or anything at all so i have that in the back of my mind all the time today i will probably start on that i'm really excited 2023 is gonna be amazing and i wish you guys all the best and i will see you in my next video Bye bye